the yeah. work on the possibility of ontology ontology map constructing on the cerebral cortex. Yes, I'm here. I'm ready. <clears throat> Share your presentation, please. Mm -hmm. I'm here. And I can uh, switch my presentation. And uh, just a moment. <clears throat> OK, you have 15 minutes to present your work, followed by five minutes of questions from the audience. Again, please, uh, how many minutes I have? Uh, 15 minutes. 15. OK, I, I, I will try to be very short. Um, I want to talk uh, about the possibility to make an ontology map on the cerebral cortex. It's, uh, um, I will t tell about the one way how to, uh, how to make it. Um, we formulate the hypothesis this has been put forward about the possibility of setting up an experiment to test the correlation between the factorial mathematical model on the subject area and the thinking model of the subject area on the cerebral cortex. <clears throat> By uh, analogy with the semantic maps map on the cerebral cortex, it, it is proposed to build an ontology map on the cerebral cortex. And uh, so localize uh, the thoughts on the cortex. A, a number of arguments are given in favor of such a hypothesis and the possibilities of setting up an experiment are discussed. <clears throat> um, According to the Web of Science, since, nine, nine, uh, since uh, 2009, the number of publications in this uh, field uh, has uh, surpassed the number of publications in such fields of physics and such as physics and chemistry. And uh, many countries studied the program, special program to investigate uh, the brain activity and to uh, make a model. and. Uh, include Russia. Uh, here was has been adopted uh, some program, which uh, uh, which concerns this um, problem. <clears throat> I I suppose that um, the problem of proposed for discussion in the paper lies in precisely in the field of the study of conscious and modeling of thinking. Uh, I suppose uh, maybe I will uh, pass uh, some of this uh, text and we'll start immediately from the K idea because uh, I have enough short time and hope uh, will, it will help enough to talk about all of my ideas. Uh, the K idea, uh, uh, the key idea arose in, in the intersection of a research of modeling brain activity based on the dynamic nonlinear non -linear equation, uh, which, uh, which was uh, uh, in the Chernovsky group in uh, Russia, and a particular task on the modeling complex hierarch hierarchical system of the subject area based in the interaction matrix, which, uh, which uh, my group uh, studied some years ago. In order, in order to understand the idea, we will uh, briefly outline the essence of the method of constructing mathematical models of hierarch hierarch hierarchical system based on the interaction matrix. Suppose, uh, that a group of experts is given the task to build a model of some complex st uh, static system that can be decomposed, decomposed into subsystem. Uh, the last in turn are likely to be simply non, but non-composite. Uh, the system under study is considered to be quite complex and the identified subs subsystem always turn out to be interdependent on each other. 
um, from uh, so uh, such a system was uh, developed uh, the algorithm uh, to investigate such a system was developed in uh, uh, in the SIT uh, uh, articles and his group um, and his approach approach can be briefly formulated as uh, consisted of three stages first stage the first step is the I, identification and allocation of subsystem and the subsequent clustering of the subsystem in the global system. Second step is to determine the degree of influence of subsystems on each other, as well as calculation of the connectivity of those of this subsystem. Calculation of influence coefficients, construction of the matrix of mutual influence. Very important uh, uh, um, um, idea of uh, to use uh, to use for this uh, tasks matrix of mutual influence. The third step is the established of the hierarchy of subsystems. And uh, later in uh, in our group we uh, const uh, we uh, developed the similar method for dynamic system. It means that we uh, take into account the dependence of such uh, subsystems uh, uh, on the time. And uh, when we investigate the influence subsystem on each other, we take into account uh, the uh, dependence of uh, this uh, uh, coefficients from the time, um, and so so we establish new pro new algorithm differs from the CITES algorithm. A few essential points, in particular, uh, the survey expert is uh, conducted according to the special rules. Uh, first rules is uh, each subsystem must be correspond to an essential factor we uh, say and uh, which are described by the function. It means that uh, such a subsystems could be uh, ex explained and uh, correlate with uh, such a function. Secondly, the question of the influence of factors are set in such a way that allows you to obtain from the expert survey. There is actually a knowledge of the ratio you see this ratio, ratio uh, namely expert are asked to, to the following question, to what extent will be the increment of the factorial function x i cause a change in the factorial function x k. Simply put in the language of fac uh, fractional function, fractional, uh, this uh, substantial function, it is necessary to answer the question, what is the ratio of this such uh, 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 change? And next, what will be the dire direction of such a change? Uh, uh, change of the factorial function xk uh, uh, caused by the uh, change of the factorial function xi. Uh, will be uh, in the same uh, direction or opposite. This matrix takes into account the dynamics of the system over the time that makes it an interaction matrix in the contrast to the matrix of mutual influence, uh, which used in SATI algorithm. Since the relations uh, uh, um, uh, found, found in the survey determine the relative magnitude and sign of increments of one factor function depending on another and allow us to construct a mathematical model of the interaction factor in the system. Uh, so <clears throat> how we will uh, build an interaction matrix? This. Uh, um, this uh, short uh, algorithm how we do how we do uh, to get this interaction matrix uh, we start from the point that we just uh, 
and uh, just uh, fi find how the general depend on the other fractional function. Uh, each fraction, uh, each function depends on others. And uh, the, uh, this, uh, this uh, functional dependence uh, uh, we see, we can uh, write in this uh, form number one, expression number one. It is a classical form of, of equation when modeling the dynamics of hierarchical system in the language of uh, fractional function. If the form of the function uh, were given, then the description of the system dynamics would be a very simple task. Uh, and uh, which would be solved either by exact solution of equation one or by the numerical integration. However, the exact form of the functional functional FK, uh, which de determine the inter interdependence of the factors, almost never can be established in exact uh, in exact form. Not that the so-called uh, living system or echo-like system are characterized by the fact that they have a so-called asymptotic or stationary solution. We will use this fact uh, because um, it, uh, it is in, important for further algorithm. Uh, if, if we expand the function uh, original function into Taylor series near these values, then instead of system one, we can obtain with the appropriate change of uh, variables an approximate system. Number two, it's approximate uh, this uh, non-linear uh, global system. Uh, practically all known models of complex uh, hierarchy hierarchical system can be reduced to this type. Thus, instead of an exact solution, we can obtain an approximate solution too. In the neighborhood of the asymptotic, what is the benefit of equation two compared to with the one? The fact is that some of the coefficients in, in, in system two can be determined from the interaction matrix. In particular, the uh, this uh, matrix D numbers will be just the numbers from the interaction matrix that exper expert determine. The remaining coefficients can be determined from the requ requirement of the correct behavior of the equation for asymptotic values of variables. We introduce uh, notation uh, to the matrix. Next, we introduce notation for the matrix B. and. Uh, this uh, picture shows how we uh, how we determine this matrix. Uh, th this matrix contains the diagonal elements. Uh, we call these elements as a self action, and uh, it is non-linear uh, part of this uh, non-linear system equation system. And the of diagonal elements are obtained from the expert surveys as a ratio of quantities. This uh, uh, the, the derivatives of the uh, of the fractional uh, fractional uh, function. And this matrix, and it is this matrix that we will call the interaction matrix. Um, so we uh, using this uh, denotation, we can uh, uh, write the uh, system two for the global dynamic system can be uh, represented in the form in the form three. Uh, the equation constructed in this way is much easier to analyze than the exact equation one, and can be calculated numerically in all particular interesting cases. Uh, thus, unlike uh, Sati Alkharith, uh, uh, fourth, fourth stage is added to his algorithm, the stage building and dynamic model. And uh, this uh, stage, step, stage could be, uh, could be named as a 
mathematical modeling of the system in the form of a system of non-linear equation using quantitative characteristics obtained as a result of analyzing and survey of expert. Uh, we can uh, we can call this uh, equations number three as a hybrid model because it it is obtained from the exact equation one by decomposing near the asymptotic concept and substituting non-diagonal numerical coefficients from the expert surveys. This, uh, this uh, equation contains the uh, so uh, a sort of expert panel intellect. In, pra in practical tasks, this system is extremely useful. One minute left. Sorry? One minute left. This is one, one minute. <laughs> Not clear. Uh, you have one minute left. Ah, okay. Okay. Uh, finally, uh, finally, uh, uh, just uh, I re wrote down here the some uh, additional uh, index which can be useful to analyze the system, it include uh, the uh, those matrix which I uh, wrote down up, and. Um, those index are very useful to classify the system and uh, to analyze the how how strong how strong uh, this um, subsystem uh, influence on each other and uh, how we can clearly uh, um, cluster cluster clusterize this uh, subsystems and finally what I will uh, tell about the, what the reason we have to wait for a new result in the pros, proposed experiments. Experts are invited to compare and give their essence, essence assessment of the degree of influence of the one factor to another and the reverse influence. Subsystem associated with this factor are compared which may consist of components, substructures, and represent complex objects and are in many connections with each other. Uh, uh, they are not words and not just concept. They are essence or higher level. And we can, we can call it uh, the thoughts. The whole construction three is a forecast of the behavioral factors encrypted into the account and algorithm. In such a system three is simulated by new neurons, then this forecast for the subject unfolds into an understanding of the situation. Then the whole structure three could be called as a cognitome since it contains understanding of the described system and it is carrier in the same time. Uh, expert given us as, as assessment of a di uh, direct and reverse uh, pairwise influence in the form of numbers and the sign of influence direction. Therefore, we can try to find correlation with the signals on the cortex, not only by the fact of the events, one pulse, but also by the magnitude of the signal. So two numbers are called in the survey. And uh, since two factors are being compared in the survey, the neural activity of the brain should be manifested in the areas corresponding to the two factors being compared. There should also be some asymmetry when they're answering a direct and reverse question. It is also necessary to analyze the location of responses on the time scale, which can give an indication on of which of the recorded signals can be associated with the factors being compared. This work, no, and finally, this work was supported part in part by Ministry of Science of Higher Education of the Russia Federation, uh, this number of project. So thanks for the attention. For if somebody have a question, I, I'm really mm -hmm. trying. Uh, well, now we will proceed with the questions. If anyone has a question, please raise your hand. Okay. 
Okay, no question.